1,000 subscribers is like what I usually get in a day now. But when I first started, 1,000 subscribers was a lot. And I never thought I would get it. And I said, I'll... I said... My laptop's gonna die. That was sick. <laughs> Welcome back to Streamers Reloaded, my name is Tom, and let's get right into the news. And first up, as always, you've got the updates on the bans from the previous week. First up, we had Illidan STR, who was a Russian streamer who got banned for using the homophobic F-word. He is now unbanned, which means his appeal was successful. As well, we had Kanut, who last week we had two clips that could possibly have caused his ban, of which I've been speaking to him throughout the week, and he confirmed it was the second clip, where while IRL streaming saw someone and said, He's in trouble, and Niels, and Niels need to be taken away. <laughs> he also said he called one of his black friends tryhard, and that played a part in his ban as well. Last Thursday, he appealed his ban, and as of right now, is now unbanned. Kanat also wanted me to add that he's sorry for making the joke. In Norway, these kind of jokes aren't considered bad, and there was no hate in what he said. He also won't be doing this again. So starting off last Sunday, we got XQC, who was watching videos on stream, and showed a clip from Paul's Clothes by the internet historian, when the first eight seconds, there were people on the beach wearing bikinis. Of which which XQC told us on stream he received a warning for watching this clip. So the argument came out on Wednesday that if XQC got a warning for showing a bra on stream, how is Amaranth allowed to do the same without getting any punishment? So from XQC's side here, here is the clip of him telling us he got a warning. Salute YouTube warlord. Okay. Just so we're all on the same page, okay? I received an email not too long hey, ago XQC, about a warning. You watched this dude's Gmod vid before. Check out his one on Rust. Because we showed literally a a, a part of a bra for like two seconds. Literally two seconds, a small part of a bra. All right. The so yeah, it is difficult. They themselves on the standard health and safety swastika formation. On to Monday, we have a streamer who was pushed off a bus. As a bit of context to this clip, one of the passengers who was pregnant left a cardboard box on the floor, which the streamer then tripped over and then she retaliated. They continued arguing and the streamer was then pushed off the bus. This then says the police was called, but there is no clip for that. So anyway, here is the clip. <sighs> Зачем меня пнули? Ну да, взяли меня, пнули. Ага. Я смотрела под ноги. Я вижу, как ты смотрела. Еще руку поднимешь на меня? Я руку брала от меня. Офигела, что ли, овца? On to Tuesday, we have a Korean streamer who got groped in public. Now, that wouldn't necessarily be news till you find out this streamer got banned for this, even though here she technically did nothing wrong. So there is a translation for what she's saying that comes from Reddit, but it's not 100% confirmed and it seems to be all over the place, so keep that in mind. Here's the clip. <laughs> That brings us on to Saturday and the big story for this week. This week had a very hyped game release known as Atlas, and with which when a new big game comes out, a lot of streamers see the opportunity to gain a lot of new viewers. Simply by being the first on the game, therefore showing at the top of the game search results, that streamer will gain all those new viewers going to that section. For example, taking Forson, he peaked at 80,000 viewers while averaging 11 to 15,000 in the past 30 days. And potentially so many of those viewers will decide to stick around to watch future streams pushing his average viewership up. So the actual drama here comes from Summit 1G and Lyric. Starting with Summit, here's the first clip. Dude, I don't care man. Stir up a little drama, I have no problem. I call it how I see it man. We got you going. I we said it on Twitter too bro. Uh, if you're playing a game that has 40,000 people playing just so you can hop on for five fucking or for, for 12 hours to play the game alone dude, you're selling out your wiener. Suck it. If you're gonna show, if you're gonna go under the game section to download it and then show off the main menu, knowing that it doesn't come out for five hours, like what the f are you doing? 
So for those who don't understand, Summit here is saying Lyric here went into the game before the game was fully out. To elaborate, you could download the game but not play till the servers were live. Lyric here was sat in the game section collecting all the new viewers but the servers didn't go live for a very long time after. So after this clip came out, Lyric did end up switching games. I did take a look through and it looked like for the most part Lyric was just on the main menu trying to find things to do. So when Lyric finally changed, Summit even decided to check he changed. Lyric switch games? Done. Let me make sure. Alright. I'm switching back. And it looks here that Summit decided to do the same thing. But instead of being on Atlas, Summit decided to play Sea of Thieves while under the wrong section. Yeah, we're under Sea of Thieves. And as we can see here, Summit more than doubled his viewership while under the Atlas section. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. This is where chat is all spamming about this topic, so Lyric does his first response on stream. Look, man, if he wants all the viewers, he can have them, all right? I don't even give a shit, honestly. It's all yours, man. I'm fine. Yeah, guys, we're waiting until uh, the servers go live, if they do. Should we just remain in the Atlas category? Um, We could. Right. Others are. Download. And then following on, this is where a donator points out Josh OG, one of Summit's good friends, is in the Atlas section. And so here is what Summit had to say about that. Your yeah, boy Josh uh, yeah, sat in an right Atlas now. section. No, Let's see you cry about that, right. please, dude. Holy Let me look. Shit. This is madness, dude. Are you guys on the east side or what? <gasps> Listen, it's harder when it's a real life friend, dude, because then it gets awkward. You know what I mean? I don't know if I can call out real life I buddies. I have no idea where the fuck you guys are. It's so foggy out here. All right, I got an anchor. You get a chance in all that run to kind of figure out where ah, you are. Listen, dudes, this is, again, dude, realistically, bro, I just right can't now. call out real life friends. Hey, look, I am, uh, I can't look right now until I kill some I just can't. people. It's fine. Let him do what he's gonna do. Kill two. So, following on to the next clip called Summit Hits a New Low by Impersonating Lyric. And what's going on here is Lyric said in the previous clip he would be checking throughout the day to see when the servers went live. Yeah, guys, we're waiting until uh, the servers go live if they do. And well, this isn't necessary as the devs gave a release time and there is no way they're releasing the servers early. No sessions found. We're in there, boys. We're just on windowed mode right now, just so I can check back and make sure that servers aren't popping up, you know? So we're just going to be frequently checking this just in case the devs just magically want to push the game forward four hours without anybody knowing. Someone's got to be looking, okay? And I'm just doing my duty that was as a streamer bubbles. to let you guys know when the game actually comes right up there. top ramens what are you shit? doing dude he ran in the cap so finally summer here did come out on stream to say all the lyric drama was fake and that they planned it all out all right chat now's my time to tell you guys that me and lyric planned this whole thing there actually is no drama dude we both we're both trying to become more relevant so i hit him up and i was like yo i'm gonna start shit with you today and he's like all right dude i'm down but the thread disagrees, saying Summit here is just backtracking because people don't agree with him. Summit then did go on to do a proper apology on stream as well as on Twitter. So here finally I have that clip and then XQC and Moxie on all the Summit stuff. So to finish this one off, here are those. Quit. Listen chat, I'm sorry for starting all that drama today. Okay, just throwing that out there. Alright, soup headed right in. Wasn't my intention, couldn't hold myself back. That's just like six years That's worth of like sloop. stressful uh Six six years worth of like stressful game launching, you know what I mean? Because of those beforehand. reasons. So, <laughs> I never God, it's like it's it like built me. up. Yeah, you know? they're trying to ramble something. Driving, just nobody. Nope. Usually, I don't like Most to get into drama. Stuff. I hate whenever right, I do because it's a stupid thing to do, and I do it because I just can't hold back sometimes. You know? The driver. We got to go. Well, you guys yeah. get off summons back, okay? He he apologized. He said he was an asshole. He took it back. Because we're he trying to lyric. For what? There's no gain. Just that, leave dude, Summit dude, alone, dude. dude, dude that's leave damage. Summit alone, man. That's just damage control, dude. Come on, man. Yeah. Come he on, man. Times throughout the night, dude. That's on. what streamers do, dude. Like, you make mistakes, but then you, you sort of get viewers out of it, but then you're like, ah, dude, there's too much backlash for me not to say shit anything yeah. about it, but you don't really mean it. But it's like, ah, whatever, I still get the viewers out of it. Fuck it, dude. Wow, dude. dude Poke, were you a big and also on Saturday, we have Andy, Pyro, and Alinity. This one starts with Alinity. Go figure. Who had what she was saying over Discord shared on Reddit. These things state this title. I'm not going to read them, but this is the main one, and here are the rest. So from Andy Pyro's side, he has talked about this on stream, and concerning this part, he said this on stream. 
And the reason why I don't even I don't I don't use that is that because I cannot have kids. I cannot have kids. And concerning the rest of it, he said this on stream. All right, so we we had to have a discussion, you know, with my with my lawyer. And and no further comments because apparently uh, apparently we cannot have attention. We cannot give attention to a person who would take this old stuff, so old stuff, under a Christmas without thinking anybody else but, but herself. So we're not gonna give any attention. There's no dignity. There's no dignity in that. In that, what what this person has done. So we're not gonna we're not gonna give any more attention. And the final thing I want to cover for this week is that Ninja is no longer the number one subscribe to channel on Twitch. He's dropped down to not only number two, but number three, with Shroud and Tim the Tapman in front of him. Currently with Shroud at 43,600 subs, Tim at 41,800 subs, and Ninja at 39,400 subs. Meaning that Ninja is 4,200 away from being number one again, if he was to try to take that number one spot back. So aside from that, that's actually it for the video today. I want to thank you guys for watching as normal, and I'll see you in the next one.